Before she was elected as the mayor of Boise, Lauren McLean served on city council for nine years, two as city council president. In January, she was sworn in as mayor, but just seven months on the job, she's now facing a recall by the same group of activists that called for former mayor Brent Coles to resign in 2001. The group claims McLean was not honest with the people of Boise in her campaign, saying she portrayed herself as a moderate and is instead governing as a far left progressive in the way they do not approve. They base a lot of this on some ideas put forth by the mayor's transition committees, which she told us were not policy documents. OK, so how will this whole recall thing work? Well, Boise Deputy City Clerk Jamie Her Heinzinger, excuse me, told us the petition was filed this morning and we take it to the county to verify that all of the signatures collected are from Boise residents. Once that is confirmed, the group has 75 days to collect the signatures of at least 20% of registered voters who voted in the last city election to get on the re that will get it on the recall, the re get the recall that is on the November ballot. And that is about 26,000 signatures that are needed. And if that were to happen, McLean would have five days to resign or a special election would be called. Then the same amount of voters that voted her into office, well, they would need to vote her out of office. And that would be about 24,000 people. Does that make sense? 75 days from today is September 28th, but because today's signatures still need to be verified, that date will likely happen sometime in October. And guess who else has drawn the ire of this group? Well, that would be Boise City Councilwoman Lisa Sanchez. Her name is now atop a recall petition of her own, which was also filed with the city clerk's office today. Seems the group has a problem with recent comments made by Sanchez after a counter protester fired his gun near the Capitol building during a George Floyd gathering. He was arrested, but Sanchez said he got off easy, well, at least easier than a minority would have. And her detractors claim those claims are racist. We asked Councilman Sanchez about those statements shortly after they were posted. She said she found it odd that her post has gotten more reaction than what led to her to write the letter in the first place that someone fired a weapon at a peaceful protest and she stands by those comments. You can hear the entirety of what she had to say right now at KTVB.com. And we're also going to have more on both of those recall efforts coming up tonight on the News at 10.